Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khanelwal, your Marrow SS General Surgery faculty. And it's an extreme honor to be introducing uh, Dr. Ram Sharan to all of you. He has secured rank one in the recently conducted INISS exam. And this is rank one in pediatric surgery, MCH. Heartiest congratulations, uh, Ram. And I think so your achievement is uh, uh, more in would be more inspiring for people because uh, you've done it after doing a DNB general surgery. And uh, you had a rank of 3000 in NEAT SS and to turn it around and get rank one, I'm sure it must have been an amazing journey and we would definitely need to, uh, you know, want to learn more about it. Thanks a lot, sir. It's an honor talking to you face to face, sir. I'm very happy. Thanks. So uh, I'm from Bihar, sir, a small city, Sivan district, sir. I did my MBBS 2011 batch from Government Medical College, Akola, Maharashtra. In 2017, I finished with my internship and in final year itself, sir, I got married. Then in, I in got 2018, in first year, so for final year <laughs> is a bit late for me. I got married in first year. So, okay, great. So, sir, in 2018, January, I gave NET PG and got selected and surgery was my field of choice. So, I took DNB surgery, 11,000 rank mm -hmm. at uh, Kasurba Hospital, Bhopal, sir. I finished my DNB general surgery in sir, September 2021. Then I joined mm -hmm. senior residency in general surgery, sir. And I had a, I had a very fortunate to work under a pediatric surgeon, sir. And I found it very inspiring. I worked with him and the surgery I seen, I was very inspired and I selected that I will go for pediatric surgery only, sir. So for okay. from 30 December till July, sir, I worked at Government Medical College, Akola. Then in July itself, sir, from 16th, I joined Neurosurgery Senior Residency at AM, AM Snapu, sir. Right. And till date, I'm working right. here. But uh, how come when you were interested in pediatric surgery, how come jo you joined Urology Senior Residency? Uh, sir, actually, I had applied for pediatric surgery itself, sir, but there was no seat in open category, sir. So I was called okay. by AIMS and given an option to join Neurosurgery. So I selected it, sir. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. Right, so how did the preparation start and uh, where did marrow factor in your preparation? Sir, I have been listening to your lecture since last three years, sir. For NEET PG also, for my DNB theory okay. also. And yeah. I, ha I have developed such a memory that I don't even need to see the notes, sir. And uh, whenever I get time, whenever while walking, driving, doing anything, any leisure, five minutes time even, I listen to your lecture, sir. This led like music to my ears, sir. <laughs> so, sir, when I um, revised the syllabus, that, when I completed that, the revision, that is I don't... music to my ears. Sir. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, in this way, sir, Great. here, sir, neurosurgery residency is very hectic, sir. I mm. didn't get used to get uh, a stretch of time for my preparation, but whenever I get half hours, one hours, I started listening to your, and uh, by and by, slowly, slowly, sir, it showed itself, sir, its effect, sir. Then, sir, neat PG, uh, neat SS came. I okay. gave that exam, but I couldn't revise in time, sir. So that's why okay. I couldn't do well. But after my rank came more than 3000, I was very disappointed because I really prepared well, but I couldn't revise. So okay. after the results, I decided that I will prepare for INISS. I started listening to your audios, your question discussions that you have put in Marrow app, sir. And uh, for uh, pediatric surgery, I used a MCQ book, sir. So that all I did, sir, and revised again and again. And I got the results, sir. Perfect. Uh, did you use any uh, textbook for pediatric surgery as well? Any other resource for pediatric surgery? Yeah. Sir, there is a book, MCQ book on Amazon. Muhammad Khalid is the author, sir, doctor. I used that book and solved all oh. the 600, 700 MCQs, sir. Because on Marrow also, sir, there is no dedicated Perfect. section for pediatric surgery. So it was difficult for me to find yeah, any now single it source. Is being added true true so we were in the it was in the pipeline and now it is being added the question bank and the video lectures for pediatric surgery so uh, i'm sure we'll take your feedback regarding that as well so uh, you are the second topper uh, you know who's been listening to my lectures since undergraduation for neat pg then for dnb or pg and then for ss and so uh, what even i realized... have attended your live classes also <laughs> okay, that's great. That's so you great. used to you so, used to teach in a coaching. Yeah, yeah I know that. <laughs> yes. 
so i think so what uh, what is highlighted by that fact is the number of revisions so the more number of times you listen to something it just gets imprinted your in your mind like visual memory and it becomes easier for you to recall things and that's the common theme which i've gathered from most of the toppers this year in iiss that uh, that uh, e- even though they did not get a great rank in neat they were able to turn it around because they were able to revise uh, uh, well in the last 6 months so can you talk about your revision strategy what all resources did you use did you do the uh, you know the q bank and the uh, mock tests as well did they also help sir i have i have given four five mock tests sir full syllabus and uh, general surgery question bank i have uh, done i think 40 50% sir sir since i was doing senior residency i didn't get much time so what i believe that right. it's better to listen the resource itself at 2x or 2.5x speed than solving mcqs true 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 so uh, dr ram can you highlight some of the important general surgery topics which are frequently asked in the iiss exam sir in exams question were there from trauma was there sir uh, atls guidelines questions and sir uh, also questions were there from sir biostat sir three four questions were from biostat yeah. like graphs and unpaid t test unpaid and uh, research methodology yes. sir sampling formula sir these questions were there and then questions on bonds sir fluid management sir these questions were there from general surgery sir right and how much of pediatric surgery could you answer from your dnd uh, surgery knowledge we all know that uh, dnd surgery the theory is very vast and to crack the theory exam you need to be very thorough with your theory so do you think that was an advantage for you when you were appearing for the exam yes sir yes sir for sure sir i have i have uh, scored 60% marks in dnd theory sir and uh, because it's very difficult sir we need to read sir very thoroughly sir so it was an added advantage and i have run pediatric surgery section from uh, subsistent twice thrice sir the pediatric surgery chapter and it was very helpful sir yeah were there questions from fetal surgery as well there's a new chapter on fetal surgery which has been added in subsistent sir there was a question on some genetic disease sir. i don't remember but no direct question from fetal surgery sir this time okay. Perfect. Perfect. all right so uh, so for pediatric surgery you just did that mcq book and for general surgery you did the marrow lectures and the q bank uh, that was your only preparation source and you would read yes, the sir. answer you have yeah yeah yes please yes sir sir in your test and discussion question sir there is a section of pediatric surgery also sir where you have discussed the pediatric right. surgery questions i have done that three four times sir was that and also sir sir plastic surgery section ah. yes sir sir uh, from just urology lectures from marrow sir i have done pediatric urology from plastic mm-hmm. surgery i have done burns the ss classes sir i chose the right. topics which related to just like in gi gi malformations and congenital anomalies right. i completed from gi surgery part sir so i selected topics which i had to read from those sections sir because there was no single source of pediatric surgery so i chose to select from different specialties sir so i think so that's the advantage of pediatric surgery that you can just mix and match and if you know which topics are being asked uh, then it will become easier for you to just uh, choose those topics and watch them like you said that you watch hypospadias uh, and uh, you know other urogenital anomalies from urology burns from plastics um, and the gi part so all that is uh, beneficial perfect but sir foundation of each and everything are your lectures sir <laughs> thank you thank you so dr ram you will definitely be joining uh, aims delhi pediatric surgery department i know it's a great department because some of my juniors have already finished their mcs from there and then our consultants at uh, various places so what are your plans after that sir after doing pediatric surgery i plan to do if there is a fellowship available outside india or inside india i will try to join it sir fellowship of uh, fetal surgery sir and uh, then i'll see what i should do i think so fetal surgery is the future sir, of the day i got surgery. my result yeah yes sir the day i got my result sir i chose that my next target is gold medal in pediatric surgery sir 
and uh, i ordered a pediatric surgery book on sa- the same day sir <laughs> perfect perfect i think so that's that's the level of dedication which you have and which is what enabled you to you know turn around things from a 3000 rank to rank 1 in iiss so th- th- that's great and heartiest congratulations uh, dr ram and thank you for taking out time and talking to all of us uh any final word of advice for those who are doing their dnb surgery and you know they always this uh, sometimes i've seen that they feel that the ms people are learning more or doing more so what kind of mindset should they have when they're approaching an entrance exam or a competitive exam where they're going to be competing with the ms candidates sir i have gone through the same stage sir but what i finally feel it's what we make of ourselves sir it doesn't depend upon degree whatever degree you are doing sir sure. it all depends sir how sure. much you believe in yourself what you want to make out of yourself and your skills matter more than than any other degree sir i have seen many of my colleagues who have done ms and uh, i have seen many of the people who have done dnb surgery sir both have their own advantages sir but for uh, a, pe- a person who has done dnb theory it's very highly advantageous for a neat ss exam sir because theory we have to cover very in deep sir true true i completely agree with that so you know you are uh, turning that disadvantage into advantage because the theory studies are more rigorous in dnb and that is an advantage in the uh, entrance exams i completely agree with you so thank you sir, thank one you more, doctor one, one uh, more thing i would like yes, to add sir. absolutely absolutely please sir generally when we join a dnb institute people fear that we don't get cutting we don't get practical work hands on work sir but sir uh, uh, most of us are not getting such a good rank that we get ms general sir that we uh, so we get into uh, dnb sir but dnb has its own advantages sir once we get the degree we can practice at any institute a joint senior residency and we will be at par with any other candidate who has done ms or any senior resident sir but added advantages that we have the sir our theoretical knowledge is very good sir so never I get is hard and get choose the field of your DNB choice surgery resident should listen to these lines from you because they are very important and that mind yes sir and sir there is there is well. there is there is no point there sir there is no point in wasting one more year sir it's always better to move forward sir whenever you Absolutely. get the chance whenever you get you stream of your choice sir great so thank you thank you for sharing your words of wisdom dr ram and we wish you all the best and congratulations once more from the entire maro team thank you thank you sir thanks a lot sir thank you